Greetings everyone, my name is Vineet C. I am from Kerala and I am currently pursuing my M.Tech degree in Biotechnology from lovely professional university, Punjab. I am working under engineer Himanshu Singh who is also the HOD of the Biotech department for a project titled In Silico Identification Analysis and Prediction Algorithm for Plant Gene Cluster. It is an ongoing project where we are aiming to develop or improve upon the existing biosynthetic gene cluster prediction tools such as Planty Smash with new training data. Belonging to the family Poaceae and genus Orisa, rice or Orisa sativa has over 20 wild varieties cultivated around the world, of which the two most cultivated varieties are Orisa sativa and Orisa glabarima. Orisa sativa has two popular sub-varieties called Orisa sativa japonica or Japan rice and Orisa sativa indica. Over 3 billion people consume rice as a staple food, which provides recommended quantities of niacin and zinc. With a digestibility of eight, around 88%, the rice protein is regarded as the richest biological protein. Wheat takes the mantle as the most important food crop while rice comes in at a close second, which is the reason why rice was a prime candidate for this study. Through this project, we intend to explore the interactions between the various gene products that are enzymes from these gene clusters of the 12 chromosomes in Orisa sativa japonica and Orisa sativa indica. Organized microbial gene expression under the concept of operon is a well-established thing. Operon-like gene arrangements in the plant kingdom has been brought to the limelight with the help of recent developments in genetics, biochemistry and bioinformatics. Two or more genes working together for the production of a protein or an enzyme in the DNA of a particular organism are collectively termed as a gene cluster. The genes in a cluster usually get expressed with the same promoter region. In some gene clusters where there is formation of enzymes, there are steps in which the formation of enzymes take place, the first of which is the synthesis of the enzymes known as the tailoring enzymes which help in catalyzing as well as accelerating the process in order to form the main enzyme which is a bigger and more complex molecule known as the signature enzyme. Most of the plant's secondary metabolites are produced through the expression of the genes in biosynthetic gene clusters. These secondary metabolites help the plant grow, defend against the elements and also amount to the nutritional value of certain plants. The following are a few examples of the secondary metabolites that are produced by plants of which the Deboa and Dimboa gene cluster in maize was the first of its kind to be discovered. The sequence information of the signature and tailoring genes were retrieved from databases, the three-dimensional structure of these proteins were predicted using bioinformatic tools, and the interactions between these structures were ascertained using molecular docking techniques. The dendrogram that was generated for each signature gene product displayed the evolutionary relationship that it had with the similar proteins from other species. The softwares and servers, as you can see, that were used in this project are Uniprot KB, Swiss Model, Rosetta Server, iTesser, Pymol, Pastock Server, Blast and Blast Tree View. Out of all the gene products in both species, 11 each were annotated in Uniprot and they were taken for the study. None of the proteins of Japonica had 3D structures available in PDB. So we had to model these proteins. First we tried the Swiss model server, which is a homology based protein modeling server. But we encountered an issue with the proteins that were modeled using these servers because they were coming out fragmented. To circumvent this issue, we went with TR Rosetta and iTesser, which are ab initio or threading based protein modeling servers. And as you can see, the models that were obtained were satisfactory. Luckily, then Indica had 3D structures already available in the Swiss model repository database. So we only had to predict the structure of cellulose synthase using iTesser and the model that we obtained had ideal prediction parameters. The PASTOC server was used to do the interaction study of these signature and tailoring gene products of both the species of rice. And we focused on the negative atomic contact energies and the best possible docking scores. We could do 19 protein to protein interactions from Japonica and 24 of the same from Indica. 
and as you can see the proteins were interacting well with each other indicated by the considerably negative atomic contact energies which means they are stable. We use protein blast to obtain homologues of these signature genes and using the phylogenetic tree widget of PBLAST we were able to produce the dendrogram for different proteins of Japonica and Indica. The phylogenetic trees indicated the evolution relationships of these proteins of both the species of rice. All of these will be used as data sets for the next stage of the project. That was the project so far and for the next stage we have picked terpene synthase gene as the candidate gene and we have collected over 80 to 100 uh, terpene synthase genes across plant species and we have done the same for non-terpenes as well to serve as control. The idea is to identify and extract unique conserved areas of these genes and then convert this data into numeric CSV format to be used as training data for the tool that we are, de we are developing. Biosynthetic gene cluster identifying or predicting tools such as Planty smash or any other find their use in areas such as allelopathy and synthetic biology. And because of this reason, such tools are of great importance in this world. Thank you everyone for spending your valuable time to me. I would like to thank my mentors, engineer Himanshu Singh and Dr. Vikas Kaushik for guiding me through this project. I would also like to thank Lovely Professional University for providing me the facilities to do this project. I would like to extend my sincerest gratitude towards the organizers of Inbex 2020 for providing me this wonderful platform. Thank you so much.